Hi, I'm Tom Stewart for Cleaning Business Today. In today's KPI, we're going to show you how to calculate the weekly reoccurring revenue gained or lost. In the business world, it's been said you're either growing or you're dying. This is one KPI that if you're able to get a positive number week after week, you're guaranteed that your business is growing. Let me use an Excel spreadsheet to demonstrate how we do the calculation. We're going to use an example and we've got several columns here. The first column here we're just going to say gained or lost and each row across is going to demonstrate a customer that we either gain through a new sale or lose through, through attrition. Um, the only customers that we're going to be adding here are ones that are regular customers, either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. In this case we're going to show that we gained a new customer by the name of Jackson. They took weekly service. The number of times per week that a weekly customer gets cleaned is one. They get cleaned every week. So the revenue per job in this case is 120, and the weekly revenue is also 120, and the calculation is just one times 120. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and look at another example of that week and pretend this is all in the same week, and we sold a second customer by the name of Jones. But in this time, they took service on a bi-weekly basis. The number of times on a weekly basis that a bi-weekly gets cleaned is a half. You clean them every other week. So um, we'll pretend that this customer per job is billed at 135, but on a weekly basis, you're only getting half of that per week because, again, you're only doing it every other week. So you take the 135 and multiply it times the number of times you clean it per week, which in this case is 0.5, and it gives you a number of 67.50. Let's look at a third example. And again, this uh, pretend this is happening all in the same week, and we go out and we sell a third new customer that's a reoccurring customer, and their name is Baker. They're taking service on a monthly basis. And we're going to make the assumption here that we're using a planning period of 13 periods per year. A week, I mean, excuse me, a month consists of four weeks exactly. So a monthly, rather than getting cleaned 12 times, actually is getting cleaned 13 times a year. So if you do that on a weekly basis, a monthly gets cleaned every four cleanings or 0.25 cleanings per week. So you might charge this monthly customer $150, but $150, again, using the same formula, times 0.25 gives you $37.50. But in this business, not every uh, transaction in terms of gains and losses on, on your regular reoccurring customers is going to be uh, a gain. You're going to lose some every once in a while. So let's see how we would treat that. Pretend we have a customer with Damon Smith that uh, quits our business for whatever reason, that they're bi-weekly. Um, so if they're bi-weekly, the uh, frequency is 0.5 cleanings per week and say that was a $125 job. So you're going to subtract uh, $62.50. Same calculation, but it's a negative number as opposed to positive because it's a loss. So if I want to know my revenue gained or lost per week, I just add up every number in this column. And if you do that, your answer is going to be $162.50. So what does this mean? That means for this week, I've increased my revenue $162.50 this week, next week, the next week, and the next week. It's not exactly that number every week, but over the long run, it's going to be that amount of money. Additionally, I'm going to be generating a top-line revenue on a week-in and week-out basis. That's a very important number because it gives me an idea if I'm growing my business or not and, and how fast I'm growing, and it gives me the rate of growth. It uh, gives me some idea if I'm going to be able to meet my sales goals and if I need to adjust my marketing strategy or my sales process. It also gives me the opportunity to uh, predict my future uh, revenue. All of those are important in running our business. And in our next KPI session, we're going to pick up on uh, where we're, we're leaving off here, showing you how to use this weekly recurring revenue number to do some pretty neat calculations that will help you run your business. Thank you for watching today's KPI and thank you for supporting Cleaning Business Today.